The most important thing to remember here is that unlike other questions that don't have a literal question, this is actually testing the ideas. We normally see a question when they're testing ideas, but transition questions are really about connecting the ideas between the sentence before and the sentence after where uh, the transition word is used. And so we need to think about dumb summaries. We need to try to really use some, some gamesmanship here to get these questions right. So dumb summaries should start with the sentences themselves. What do we see in these sentences? Let's ignore the transition word. Let's kind of get a sense of these sentences. This practice of continued education, also known as professional development, benefits not only employees, but also their employers. So benefits means it's positive. Uh, I'm going to skip the transition word. Meaningful professional development is a shared responsibility. It is the responsibility of employers to provide useful programs, and it is also the responsibility of employees to take advantage of the opportunities offered to them. So, okay, some of the opportunities, um, useful programs, responsibilities, maybe a mixed word, so maybe we're not like, uh, you know, in love with when we have responsibilities, but this generally also seems maybe positive. I'm going to purposely do a little positive there. It's, a, it's not as strongly positive. Um, but there's another thing I'm noticing now too. It's, it's kind of a focus on the word also, right? Benefiting both groups. And this is also talking about a shared responsibility. So we've got a lot of doubling up. So there is a similar idea between these two sentences. And that helps me because I can also use dumb summaries on the answer choices. These transition words may seem complicated, but they all pretty much have some sort of like analogous word that isn't complicated, a word we use all the time. Nevertheless, maybe is the one that jumps out first. That's basically a fancy way of saying, but, or getting across some sort of contrast. But so is regardless. And here's the thing, here's where dumb summaries like this can really help us on these transition questions. There's a lot of times these are very difficult to sort through. But from experience and from the categories that I have in my study guide that I've put all these words into, I know that nevertheless and regardless basically mean the same thing. There's really no difference between those words. And so if I know that, then looking at these choices, I also know that they both can't be right because there's only one answer to an SAT question. So if I, I really needed to choose between them, I really wouldn't have any way to do that. They, they're both so similar there's really no way for me to, to pick one. And so that means because they mean the same thing, they must both be wrong because they can't both be right. And just like that, I'm down to a 50-50 shot. And I could have done that before I even read the sentences, right? That's, that's just about the definitions of those words. So that's something that really comes from practice with these transition questions is you know what those words mean. Very often, you're gonna be able to eliminate two because they they don't mean anything different, and you'll have to get rid of them. So now we have another choice, right? This word accordingly, which I doubt we use very often, but maybe you don't even know what it means. And the word similarly, which, you know, it's comforting. We know what similarly means, right? And so use that to your advantage. We might not be able to define the word accordingly, but we know what similarly means, right? It means we're saying things are similar, right? Like. It's a similar situation. So in this case, look, are we saying, are we making some sort of an analogy or a comparison? Well, not really, right? So we're talking about things being shared, right? There's benefits for both employees and employers. And then it kind of continues that thought and says, yeah, they're, they're shared. It's not a new idea. They're not comparing two ideas and saying that they're similar. They're talking about the same idea in two sentences. So this just doesn't fit with the situation. And I know why people pick it. It's because they're so afraid of picking a word like accordingly, which they don't know that they're, they're willing to squeeze this bad word into this spot because it feels safer than picking something that you don't know. That's a bad strategy on the SAT, right? We very often are gonna to have to pick answers we don't like because all the answers that we understand don't work. This is that case. Similarly is wrong here. The answer is accordingly. Now, why? Well, what does it mean? Let's, let's focus on that, right? So 
accordingly kind of means something like therefore or so, maybe is our, our simple word here. And that makes sense with what we, what we have because they're introducing an idea, right? There are benefits for employees and employers. So if there's benefits for both, there are responsibilities for both. Right, so it, it is kind of a continuous and continuing idea, but there's this idea of cause and effect. And so that's how I get this answer. Not necessarily by like reading it and just knowing that accordingly is right. More by kind of this dumb understanding of the sentences, this dumb understanding of the words and the choices, and kind of playing the SAT game and knowing the other ones just don't work. That's okay. I know that a lot of people don't like thinking that way. They, they like to just know what the answer is, but that's not, you're not taking that kind of test. There are going to be times where that's possible, but there are also times where we have to do this kind of thing. Get used to it. It's going to get you points. It got me this 10 points right here on this very hard question. And it's because we're okay with playing the game and okay with picking words that we might not know because the words that we do know don't work. That is a key strategy too. So use dumb summaries, trust yourself, and trust when you know that answers are wrong, and don't be afraid to pick something that's a little weird.